Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte's adventure in Star Maid here. So what's going on? Well, I'm continuing work on my sh huge craft here. I guess it's turning into huge, but for me this is kind of relatively on a medium size maybe is what I would call this ship. And if anything, it's a bit fat. It might need to be elongated more that way. I wish there was a, like an easier way of doing that, like where you could slice this and then move the entire section. Uh, there might be something like that, but I'm not 100% unless it's under the build, to remove, replace filter. Yeah, I don't see anywhere where I can like, cut off a piece and then move the entire piece. Maybe in the future we shall see that. But yeah, but anyways, back onto here. So what I've done here is I've actually moved these back, I think, two spaces and I've actually extended it three spaces I put in an extra row of kind of systems on this upper one I made sure that these were 12 long because the 10 long just didn't seem strong enough so hopefully 12 long and all of them will work same with down here I've added in more salvagers and uh, I've done the same here I've kind of extended this power block up here so that way the power generation is a little bit better I've outlined the bottom of the ship a little bit because I need to figure out where I'm going to put my cargo spots. And so I'm thinking down here will be kind of like a... Let's go to my inventory here. Is it dark gray or just the gray? I think the gray. The dark the dark gray is for the walls and the roof, I think. Um, yeah, okay. So yeah, so for example, if we go like this... Let's put some blocks like this. Okay, so you're going to come down these stairs from the cockpit. And then you're going to show up here. And then here we're going to have a cargo space. So I think what I'm, I'm thinking is there'll be kind of a path in the middle here. Uh, let's see here, how far? Maybe just like that so there will be a path in the middle here all the way to this I might leave this open I might put uh, where is it uh, number two these things in front of it kind of like this just for protection uh, let's see what this looks like a bit yeah so internal here you might be able to walk up to this but then the grill will stop you maybe maybe not maybe I'll actually let you access the systems on the inside because it doesn't really matter per se so yeah that way then you can kind of see the massive wall of systems here kind of like the engine room idea and then i want to put storage uh, let's see here where do i want to put the storage do i want it set in a bit and do i want this to go out a tad that's another question. I'm thinking of putting, of bringing this bottom part out a little bit more. Uh, maybe two, three more blocks. So that way this kind of middle piece kind of sticks out a bit. So we have our engines here and then kind of like a bulge and then back to the, the front part of the ship. <laughs> you won't really know until I actually build it. But yeah, I do want the ship kind of thin. Not too thin, but yeah, there will be these little bulges, I think, on the side. Kind of curved maybe a little bit. Now, now I'm going to keep the boxy style because that's part of why I'm building it like this. So I'm going to build it out straight, kind of more rough. I like the box you know, style, kind of with with minimal uh, your edging and stuff. Or the edges, I like hard edges. I don't like soft edges. This cockpit on top here I think is okay. Might be a bit large. I might have to change it. I don't know. I'm not too sure. We'll have to see once the ship is done. Maybe I'll, I'll address that in the future. But yeah, but basically, I will show you how we how I've been doing it. So oh, and there's the automatic roll of the ship, which I just absolutely hate. <laughs> and I'm not touching the mouse or nothing. So if we go map, let's plot a course to our planet way over here. Plot path to current map. Okay, so we're going to test out uh, where is it? Okay, so turning is actually a little bit better because I added more thrusters. So we're going to stop you know, by these asteroids here and we're going to see what that's all about. So normally I would show you the, the transportation, but with the Newtonian physics, 
you kind of don't want to fly too fast and you don't want to fly too slow right so it's a kind of a, like a fine balance and you'll notice that my game f f uh, flickers a lot I'm not sure why that is I'm thinking maybe that's a star main thing but yeah I hope in the footage it turns out okay I see it flickering in the bottom right hand corner but I don't see it flickering with me actually playing it so I'm gonna I'm gonna actually change the footage here one second okay so we shall see we shall see now I'm not doing anything special on my computer either so I don't have oh yeah I'm definitely gonna have to add more thrusters what's this here why is that point oh, okay that's why the shop now did I hit this no okay so okay so now you basically I have a camera set up on the front of the ship which is kind of in the central part and this is what handles the the firing so for example bang this is concentrated fire a <laughs> big powerful you know like line cut i use the the concentrated for harvesting your minerals but on mass like this you're harvesting the whole planet i just right click and you'll see both beams are bang look at that it, it takes a while for it to update because there seems to be a lag but I am thinking that the beams are powerful enough at 12 blocks long. I'm almost thinking I should do them about 15 blocks, it seems, for a good speed of the beam. But this is relatively fast enough. And for my first real kind of capital ship, I guess, now this is what, what this is turning into because of the, the, the fleet you know, the new update with the fleets and all that fun stuff now you know i think we're running on i'm running on a higher update so if we go into k we can go into our, our fleet panel here here we can go always add member add ship to fleet tasks now for some reason it has my name and i'm not sure why it would have my name Unless uh, there's an actual name to my ship here. Uh, crew, fleet, catalog, ship. AI structure, entity structure. All systems are working fine. Um, AI. Cargo. Thrust. Here we can change thrust. And we got the weapons. This is G usually. Uh, yeah, this is catalog. This is where we can you manage our blueprints. Yeah, no, I'm not too sure. So, yeah, so we're harvesting this. So this is working out quite nicely. There's some resources here. You can kind of see them mixed in. So then what I could do is then take my concentrated beam and uh, just kind of eat them out that way. Just uh. <laughs> And take them out. The recharge is not too bad on them. And yeah, see, so we collected a bunch of resources. Then what I've been doing is I've been... Oh, uh, this is the the docking camera. They also added new rail functionality. Uh, yeah, they added kind of like a carrier functionality. Now, uh, what that means exactly is, is I believe there might be new rails that I might have to find in a shop. Um... So I might just restock all the shops in this in the sector. That might be the best way to do it. Uh, or, or I can just uh, you find a shop that has it, and we'll go from there. So yeah, so this has been very interesting. You know, it's very exciting to see Star May doing all these updates. And I will see you when I get closer to my planet. Okay, here we are back at our planet. So we're gonna start slowing down procedures now on one of the plates i put a really long mast with the light on it uh there it is see that i did that so that way i can easily find it so we basically have to rearrange we have to slow down change our trajectory to be kind of going like this and we basically have to go over the plate usually what i try and do is i try and stop over the plate somewhere Let's see here and yeah I really like the Newtonian physics it's really awesome so usually I kind of you face towards the target even though I'm in, in a, a relatively large ship kind of stop 
and we kind of go like this. I'm going to go forward a bit. I'm going to change the camera to the bottom camera. There we go. And I think we can just activate our beam, but we're too too far away. So I'm going to kind of line up a little bit better here. And it's basically like this. Now I press up. So the camera, you move the ship in relation to the camera. So up is up and you Q and E to kind of go like up and down like this. And come on, uh, bang, there we go. There we go. Now we're docked. Now I can go back into this mode. Press R. Voila. Now we are on the surface of our planet. So normally you would then walk through the ship. You'd walk down this way. I'm going to have to put lights into here. <laughs> I have to walk all the way over here to the blocks here. And then down this way into here. Now I'm thinking of maybe adding a couple blocks, maybe putting access kind of here on the side on one of the sides not both sides kind of funny I was thinking about that I kind of don't like always having everything symmetrical sometimes like you're creating a, a door on the one side and no door on the other side is pretty cool I think so yeah so we'll kind of do that I really like the look of this ship it's pretty awesome I think in my mind <laughs> so normally I come here land here the ship will unload into our storage here and I will have to highlight that in another video the storage so yeah as I was saying <laughs> for whatever reason you know the game my computer just has issues recording you know, Java stuff and unfortunately this game I think runs on the Java platform sure it's 64 bit but there's still some bugs in the game and unfortunately it sucks and it crashed on me which is fine because I was going to edit out some stuff. So anyways, yeah. So what was I saying? I was just kind of talking about... I can't remember what I was talking about. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. And I don't want to look back on the footage. So I'm just going to move forward. Basically, I was just showing kind of... This is how I do it. Been going back and forth. Kind of... You're creating this carved stuff. And then I've been taking this carved stuff. Selling it. I've been throwing everything into here and it's been processing stuff for me. Um, I've also hooked in... So on the previous planet, I did had uh, I did have everything hooked in. I had the storage, uh, you know, the rail docker, you hooked into the storage system. So that way the cargo on the ship would empty out from the ship into the system here, which then would get stored. And thus then the, the manufacturing you block can then access and use. Now, on a larger scale, what I plan to do with all of this is to create kind of a filtration system. So ships will come in, you drop off their goodies, and then those goodies will go into the system. You kind of into like a loading area, you know, unloading area, and then from there it'll get filtered into the various aspects of the station or base or wherever that may be. I need to make a a place of manufacturing, um, a, a manufacturing center. So most likely, I'm going to build probably a space station for that, just because of the size of the ships that I want to have. So this is kind of more, you know, as I was saying before, like a medium-sized ship. So I do want them to get larger, that's for sure. And I'm just making sure that this block here isn't connected, because deactivate production because we can take this. Now, what I do in here is then I craft what I need. So I need more basically salvage, more salvage modules because as you can tell, we didn't quite finish these. So hopefully in another hundred will do. Will do. Um, hopefully that will, man, this hole here sucks. <laughs> uh, so hopefully that will do that. I might also, I need to build more thrusters. I had 150, now they're gone. I didn't really do much of a dent, so I have to build a lot more because this needs to be all thrusters. Because the ship as it is right now barely moves. Like it's very, it's starting to become sluggish because as I'm adding these advanced blocks, the mass of the ship is getting heavier. So we definitely need to 
to get that going in the right direction. Okay. And, yeah, and I think that's about it. In the next episode, I think I'm going to talk about how the storage system works. And we're going to actually hook up a real storage system. But I'm going to keep grinding away on this ship and just adding more to this. I was going to do, like, a building episode of this ship. But I don't know. It's just... It just seems like a lot. I have to prepare a lot of materials, and right now, in this stage of the game, it's just it's challenging as it is, as it is. right now. I'm just going back and forth uh, from you know this station over here, this shop, or to this shop to sell, you know, quickly, or even this shop down here. And I've been going over there. I've been kind of harvesting. So, so what have I been doing? I've been I've been taking the carved stuff, going over to the shop, selling it. And then you're buying some materials there that I can't really make easily yet. And then I go harvesting, and I come back, offload, you pick up a new load, repeat. Pick up a new load, repeat. It's been about three, four times now, and this is how much I've accomplished on this ship, which is amazing. Now, if I had I chose to build a ship about you know the size of this, only one block, then I think it would have been a lot easier to have a smaller ship and we would be done that ship already so but now with this like this so, oh yeah and I forgot there's also carrier blocks now so basically there's new rails I think I mentioned that anyways there's new rails that you, know, you can create so I kind of want to create two fighter pods that are in here that will shoot out and then return um, because I have an idea with the fleet stuff you know because with the fleet stuff you can have docked ships as well so I'm thinking if you can have them lined in there where they can shoot out maybe one above each other have the cargo all down in here you know big huge cargo bay and then maybe two bays for some you know, small you know, fighter class ships I think that would be pretty cool and yeah so other than that thank you everybody for watching hopefully this episode has been interesting and you know, not much has happened because I play Star Maid when I can and my time is very limited, unfortunately, at this point in time in life. And maybe we'll see more. But yeah, but thanks everybody for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Bye-bye.